We're at a very special place, the Christine E. Lynn Women's Health and Wellness Institute here at the Boca Raton Regional Hospital, the primary beneficiary of, uh, of this championship. I want to thank everyone here at the hospital for hosting us uh, here today on this uh, very incredible day uh, for, our, for our big announcement about our new title sponsor. Um, I'm the tournament director, Eddie Carboni. If you don't know me, I'm kind of new to Boca. I've been here for about about a year and a half or two years uh, waiting for this day and uh, a few sleepless nights along the way, but super excited that we're here at this point with our brand brand new partner and a lot of the partners that got us to this point over, over the years. Um, the championship is one of the most popular events uh, on the PGA Tour Champions. Um, we are really looking forward to this event February 4 through 10 at the old course at, uh, at Broken Sounds, been hosting this since inception in 2007. I'm going to begin the conference today by introducing our speakers. To my left, from the city of Boca Raton, Mayor Scott Singer. Yeah. To his right, the CEO of Oasis Outsourcing, Mark Perlberg. From the PGA Tour Champions, newly named, and congratulations, newly named president of the PGA Tour Champions, not yet eligible to play on the PGA Tour Champions, <laughs> Mr. Miller Brady. <laughs> and someone you may have heard about, just get a little bit of fame here, our hometown hero, uh, Golf Hall of Fame member, Mr. Bernhard Longer. Our championship has been won by 13 different players. There's never been a repeat winner. Past champions include, of course, Mr. Longer and three other former major champions, Tom Lehman, Corey Pavin, and our defending champion, Mark Kalkovecchia. We are incredibly excited. This tournament continues a great tradition in the community, raising monies for charity. And with that, one of our biggest, longest partners, the city of Boca Raton, would like to introduce Mayor Scott Singer. Well, good morning, everyone. I'm Mayor Scott Singer, and as was mentioned, proud to be joined today by my city council colleagues, Monica Mayotte, Andy Thompson, and other people from our city. We're very excited about this tournament. This is always an exciting event. Uh, the kickoff for what is a fun season leading up to a showcase for our city. We've been proud to be a partner with the tournament since its existence and provide a substantial contribution both in direct support and indirect support to make sure the tournament smooth, uh, runs smoothly. And it's very important. This is a chance for us to highlight three great attributes our, of our city. We have a worldwide audience of golf viewers who see our city in all of its luster in February, the beauty of the old course at Broken Sound, especially some of those people in the Northeast where it may be snowing inches and inches. They get to understand what it is. We have business executives who understand the impact of golf to our community and the chance to have a world-class championship at a world-class cor course in a world-class city. And I love when the television cameras pan around the surroundings of the course and you see corporate headquarters here in Palm Beach County, here in Boca Raton, facing the course. It's a great reminder of what an economic engine we are. We are the economic engine of Palm Beach County. More than half the corporate headquarters in Palm Beach County are here in Boca Raton. We've, we're proud of our corporate presence here. And you know, there's long been the tradition between golf and corporate transactions. And this tournament really highlights both of those and just simple shots that you'll see on the cameras that we're ha so happy to have. And the economic impact to our city is so vast. It's millions of dollars. It's tens of thousands of tourists, people spending their money here, visiting our city, and hopefully moving their corporate headquarters here. And we're very excited about the announcements that you're going to hear now because it reaffirms the presence of this tournament in our community with a very strong corporate partner right here in Boca Raton. So it's really a chance for all of these things to come together. And then finally, the, the highlight really for a lot of us is that the philanthropy that this tournament brings to our city, and particularly one of our most beloved and important institutions, the Boca, Boca Raton Regional Hospital. Millions of dollars for its foundation have been raised through the tournament through these many years here, and we're very happy to have it here in Boca Raton. So we're looking forward to getting all of your friends in the Northeast, in the Midwest, in California, across the world, 
Bring them down for the tournament. Show off the beauty of our city, the wonderful event this is, and make sure that they bring their corporate headquarters here because we could put signs on those buildings that say, you could be here now if you were in Boca Raton. <laughs> Thank you all. We're looking forward to the tournament. Mayor Singer, thank you again for all the city's done for this championship and for being such a great uh, champion of the community of this championship. And I think a two-time champion on Jeopardy. Is that correct? Once. But... <laughs> Sorry about that. Not a repeat. <laughs> <laughs> Without further ado, the podium is yours, Mr. Proberg. Mark Proberg, CEO of ACES. Thank you very much. First, I want to dispel a, uh, a, a rumor. Um, I want to tell you that uh, perhaps the main reason that we are uh, sponsoring this wonderful event uh, has to do with last year. Last year we were invited to sponsor the Pro-Am. And I, I won't kid you, I went into it. We'd never done anything like that before. I was a little skeptical. And uh, we just had a fabulous, fabulous experience on every level. Uh, not only on a personal level, but from a business standpoint, it was just, it was just terrific. And that's really what opened the door to us thinking more seriously about this more extensive and more significant opportunity. The rumor I want to dispel is that was the main driver. The fact that Hollis locked me in a private plane <laughs> and flew me to Augusta to play two rounds of golf had nothing to do with the decision today. Nothing, nothing whatsoever. Uh, those of you who have dealt with Hollis know that that much dedicated time in that setting was probably a hopeless uh, situation for me. But um, all, all kidding aside, we, we couldn't be more uh, thrilled uh, to be here today. Uh, with a 20-year uh, legacy in the business community, uh, we're, we're so proud to be uh, involved in this great sporting event, one of the early sporting events of, of the season, all seasons, and particularly the PGA Tour uh, champions. We know uh, that this event uh, always has one of the best fields, and we couldn't be uh, more excited to be uh, to be a, a, a part of it. Um, and I will tell you that uh, I mentioned this to uh, Bernhard just a, just a, a few moments ago. Uh, we're what's known at Oasis as a professional employer organization. We do have uh, one esteemed competitor that's been part of the PGA Tour champion schedule uh, for quite some time. And so one of the other reasons we're sponsoring is to give Bernhard the opportunity to win the PEO Slam, which I think is really much more important than any of the other uh, uh, sub-events that go on uh, during, the, uh, during, the, the course, uh, during the course of the year. Um, but as the title sponsor, again, all kidding aside, this is such a wonderful opportunity for us to uh, elevate our brand uh, and, and really demonstrate to the community, not only here in Florida, uh, but nationally, uh, the evolution that Oasis has gone through since its founding, the growth that we've been fortunate enough to achieve to this point, and the growth that we expect to achieve uh, prospectively. We know that this is going to be a great opportunity to engage with our clients, small and medium-sized business owners, and entrepreneurs uh, in the community. We also know that this sponsorship gives us an even greater opportunity to support great causes, uh, such as uh, the Boca Raton Regional Hospital, of course, uh, and another charity that we have supported for a number of years at Oasis uh, Junior Achievement. For the last 11 years, the efforts of volunteers and supporters have allowed this tournament to contribute $1.8 million to charities throughout the South Florida region. And we've, we are absolutely dedicated to increasing that number and continuing to positively impact people's lives in this uh, community. We're very fortunate at Oasis. Uh, we are one of the fastest growing and largest professional employer organizations in the nation. And we fully expect this sponsorship of the Oasis Championship. I'm not going to lie, I got some chills when I walked in here this morning. It's a very, very special uh, day for us and a very special day for me uh, personally. And we know that this sponsorship is going to be a true winning formula for all concerned. Great for business, terrific for the community, and perhaps most importantly, critical for the worthy charitable causes we all look to serve. Thanks very much. Thank you, Mark. We're looking forward to an amazing uh, partnership in the next chapter 
in the championship here at uh, Boca Raton. Next, I'd like to call up uh, the president of the PGA Tour champions, Miller Brady, but also want to point out uh, with him from the PGA Tour, Chris Richards, media liaison. He'll be here during championship week for you members of the fourth estate. You know him well. And also joining us, um, I believe he's Miller's bodyguard. I'm not exactly sure what else he does. John Krakauer. Thanks for being here, guys. John may have to leave early. He has a men's health uh, photo shoot down at Hallover Beach, down in, uh, down in Miami. Arthur, I apologize, I was supposed to be here, but here's Miller Brady. Let's go. Uh, wow. I mean, maybe you should be a radio personality. Um, Hollis, Hollis, I mean. Got the face for it. Yeah. So. <laughs> Holly, maybe you should be up here. Uh, Hollis and I clearly are both vertically challenged. We're going to go play basketball after this. So, um, a, a lot of thank yous in the room today. Um, I will continue that trend uh, to start with our new title sponsor, in Oasis. Um, clearly, the support. Uh, that, that Mark, you and your team are providing to this tournament, the PGA Tour champions, is tremendous. Um, we're very proud to partner with your company, um, and we appreciate the support from Terry and Gerald, uh, Mike, uh, Kelly, and Tracy. So thank you, uh, the en entire Oasis family, uh, because it is a family. For us, we're going to work in concert together to make this a great tournament for your company. Having a hometown title sponsor for the first time um, in this community is going to be great for us. We can showcase uh, your business, we can showcase our great players, the great charitable work, um, and the economic impact. Uh, it is because of Hollis Kavner and his team with Eddie, their entire team, that they work, on, they work in the community year-round, boots on the ground to help grow the event, working with everyone here to spread the word about this tournament, uh, what it means for the community. So without um, their leadership, we probably wouldn't be here today. Um, but to be honest with you, Mayor, we also appreciate your support. Um, last year was a tough year because we went without a title sponsor. And if the community and the city had not stepped up, we would not be here today. This event would have left the community. So we thank you um, for allowing us to stand here in front of you today. Um, we're, we are fortunate that it is the first fulfilled event of the year for our tour, uh, which means the players have had a little bit of time off. They're anxious and ready to get out and play. Uh, and it really becomes one of the strongest fields of the event for, uh, of the year for us. Um, Bernhard uh, is such a great ambassador for our tour. But all the players that come out uh, support our tour, support our title sponsor's mission, and, and want to help their, their companies grow. Um, so without that, um, and the players that support us in the pro-am and the dinner functions, um, our tour you know, wouldn't, wouldn't be as strong as it is today. We're entering 2019 with 27 events in our tour, similar to this past year. Um, 27 events will play for nearly $58 million in prize money, uh, but it really starts here in Boca. Um, uh, the first fulfilled event of the year, as I said, is the way to kick it off. Uh, we appreciate uh, the longevity. I've been here since the inception. I remember coming down with Hollis uh, looking at golf courses. Uh, back in 2006 before we even started. Um, and, and we looked at many golf courses, but the fact that we settled uh, at the old course at Broken Sound and have been there since day one is a great testament to the community. It's a great testament to the golf, uh, the golf in this community and how great of a golf course Broken Sound is. Um, so with that, I appreciate the support uh, for our tour. Oasis, thank you. And uh, we look forward to being back here in February. Thank you, Miller, and congratulations on your appointment as president of the PGA Tour Champions. Now I need to introduce somebody who really needs no introduction, saving the best for last. One of the greatest players in the game today, coming off a spectacular year, winning his fifth Charles Schwab Cup. One time he was the first player ever ranked number one in the world golf rankings. That was a few years ago, Bernhard. <laughs> He has 38 career wins on PGA Tour champions. Absolutely amazing. 
Um, he's finished seven times in the top ten in his hometown event, and he did take home the trophy uh, to our championship when you hold out of a bunker in a playoff to beat John Cook in 2010. He's also um, the recipient of the 2018 Payne Stewart Award for character, charity, and sportsmanship. Put your hands together for Bernhard Longer. Good morning, distinguished guests. It's a distinct honor and pleasure for me to represent the PGA Tour Champions players here. Uh, it's even more special to me because uh, I live a few minutes from here. I've made Boca Raton my home for many, many years, and uh, it's a blessing to be here. Uh, I'd like to welcome my wife, Vicky, of uh, 35 years, right here. Thank you for being with us. And looking around this room, it's, it's amazing, uh, all the, uh, the people that are here and the support uh, we have felt from many, many of you. We all know that the PGA Tour champions, the PGA Tour in general, stands for charity. I believe our uh, professional golf organization gives more dollars to charity than any other uh, sports organization around the world. And this is uh, no surprise, this tournament is the same. As you've heard, I, I believe 1.8 million have been given away so far and there'll be more to come in the, in the years. We're very proud, we, we know how blessed we are uh, to be playing this great game of golf and that we can give back and are supposed to give back to those that are less privileged. And what greater cause than to help the hospital where everybody has access and can get help when they need it. Uh, so it, it's a thrill again for me to be representing the guys uh, on the PGA Tour Champions. This tournament, um, very vital, very important. It's a great time of the year to be here in Boca Raton. Uh, and the tournament is broadcast not just in America, it's all over the world, which means millions and millions around the world will see how beautiful this place is. And it's going to ha have an impact on tourism, not just for the week of the tournament, but for the year round. And the city will benefit from it the whole region of South Florida, which is a golfing mecca, as we all know, will benefit. So, uh, Mayor, you will see some good things uh, coming out of this. We, we appreciate your support. Uh, Hollis, you are a legend uh, in the game in your own right, uh, because... <laughs> and I'm, I mean this in a very positive way. Uh, Hollis uh, runs several of our tournaments on the PGA Tour Champions. He is a true professional. He knows what he's doing. He's got great staff, uh, great knowledge, know-how, and expertise, and, and a lot of experience. So we know this is going to be a great event because you're at the helm of it, and we appreciate your hard work. And wish your team, Eddie, and everybody involved uh, a lot of success. And you know if we can help in any way, we're here to do so. We're great partners. Um, Miller, congrats on your promotion. Looking forward to having you at the, at the helm of uh, our organization for many years to go. I think we're, we're going to be in, in good shape here all around. And uh, Mark, last but certainly not least, we are truly excited about uh, the partnership with Oasis in the years to come. I mentioned earlier, kind of chokingly, but the more I think about it, the more serious I get. Uh, I have a green jacket, I have a gold jacket, and I have a couple other jackets I won in tournaments. I've never won a blue jacket. I think your color is blue, so maybe, maybe we can start a tradition here. So thank you all for your support. The media that is here today, please send out the great news. We have a new title sponsor in Boca Raton for years to come, and we look forward to a great championship here coming up very soon. Thank you very much. Well, again, super excited on this on this day today and, and looking forward to just, I believe, 55 days from now, the start of the Oasis Championship, February 4th through 10 at the Old Course. That's going to conclude our formal program now. We're going to adjourn to uh, media scrub one-on-ones with everyone here up at the dais. Also, Jerry Fidelli is here. 
uh, CEO from the hospital, but we really appreciate you all being here. Thank you, members of the Fourth Estate. We're, again, super, super excited. Mark, this is going to be an incredible partnership. Mayor, thank you. And Miller, thanks for putting up with me and Hollis. It's a lot of work, I know. And Bernhard, thanks for being here. Cheers.